Hi guys. I got this idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea, but I figure we try it together. My idea is to try to play Jeopardy, but I'm not very good at it really. <laughs> so I thought to myself, what if I record the show? And then when they ask the question, I pause it. It gives me a lot of time to think about the answer and maybe I have a chance. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're gonna try. Now, the TV is about, I don't know, six feet from me. So I have to put my glasses on so I can read, read the question. <laughs> this whole thing's cracking me up. <laughs> So I'm going to have a good time with it, guys. Hope you enjoy the show. Let's see how many questions we can get through. Okay. So I already put up the first answer, and it says, In a study in Scarlet, he tells us, In the year 1878, I took my degree of Doctor of Medicine of the University of London. Great. So right away, I'm thinking about a long time ago, a doctor. And I'm thinking about that show and the name of that guy. And I really can't remember. <laughs> the first thing that comes to my head is Hitchcock. And I'm like, that's not right. So then I think, Dr. Jekyll of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And we will see. Oh, I better plug in the computer because it's, it's warning me that it's going to shut off. All right, it's plugged in. Good. All right, so that's my guess, uh, Dr. Jekyll. Let's see. And let's press play. He wasn't Dr. Watson. He was just Watson. Oh, my God. That was a trick question, guys. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one. All right. In the epilogue, that means after the, after the story, right? Because prologue would be before. In the epilogue to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which I haven't read, but people that I know have read it, so maybe you never know. In the epilogue to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, she's married to Ron, and they have two kids, Rose and Hugo. Okay, Deathly Hallows. Now, is this the people that took care of Harry Potter when he was little? living under the stairs or something. I can't remember that. No, I'm thinking it was the girl of the group of friends. Hamagwe. <laughs> I know that's not a name. Hernami. Hayami. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. Hi, hi. Hernami. <laughs> it's something. Hey me, hi me. Anyway, I get it. If it's the friends, I get it. Point. That's all I'm saying. Cause even if I can't say it, or not me. <laughs> okay, let's see what it is. Uh, play. Who is her Nami? Her mommy. I got a point. Guys, I got a point. One out of two. I'm taking it. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, here we go. Okay. J.R.R. Tolkien said he envisioned this wizard as an Odin. Audinic 
Odinic Wanderer. Odinic Wanderer. The only wizard I know is the Wizard of Oz, guys. And he had some sort of a caravan thing with wheels on it. And he was going, I'm saying Wizard of Oz, guys, for all the points. <laughs> I hope it's right. Oh, wait a second. I paused it again. Tolkien. Tolkien is not from the Wizard of Oz. Maybe he did write the Wizard of Oz. I don't think so. I don't know. Could be. But he also could be like one of those troll guys, you know, those little elves that live in the in the forest. If it's that guy, I don't really know the answer. Let's see what it is, guys. Gandalf it was the guy in the forest guy. All right, so only one out of three I've gotten so far. I can't believe. Watson. Nobody says Dr. Watson. Nobody. All right, let's continue. One out of three so far. We'll try to get through five. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. In 2017's origin, this is a recent uh, thing because it's 2007 and 19, right? Yeah. In the origin, is that a movie, a book, a TV show, a documentary? I'm not really sure. In 2017's origin, this Symbology, the study of symbols. Let's see. This symbolo <laughs> symbology professor treks through Spain on a quest to find a cryptic password. Now, if you talk about trekking through Spain, I'm likely to think of Don Quixote, but I know he was not around in 2017. So. That rules him out. I'm really usually good at <laughs> multiple choice questions. <laughs> Trek through Spain on a quest to find a cryptic password. And he's a professor. Let's say Professor Black. That's a total guess, but I'm going with it. Robert Langdon. Okay. I think that was four questions. One out of four. What is that? 25%? I am failing, guys. I am failing at this game. <laughs> Let's continue on. Okay. This is about Harbor Day. I don't know. I was actually a social studies minor in undergraduate college. And I found that history class to be ugh, a lot of memorizing. That's why I got so good. I think it was the only C I ever got in that four years. All right, let's here's the question, guys. About 400 miles at its widest point, this sea has harbors in... Riga, R-I-G-A, Latvia, oh, we're over there, Latvia, wasn't the guy from Tech Taxi, the TV show from Latvia, and he, he spoke the funny language, <laughs> like that, I remember that guy, oh, Clypeda, that sounds like a disease or an infection of some sort. Why, Pina, I apologize to anybody who is from there, really. And Lithuania. Oh, I know Lithuania. I have in-laws of my sister's Lithuania. So. Okay, here we go. It's a, it, about, five, about 400 miles at its widest point. This sea has harbors in Riga, Latvia, and Klaipeda, Lithuania. 
Oh, it sounds like Clepida is part of Lithuania. Okay, a harbor, a sea, somewhere in that region. I'm going to say, and I don't really think this is correct, but I'm going to guess, because it's the only sea I know really know around there somewhere, is the Dead Sea. Although I would think the Dead Sea would be south of this. I'm going with it. Or it could be the Black Sea. Remember I said the guy was named this Black Sea? Maybe that was really for this question. Maybe I'm channeling somebody. You up there? Can I say two answers? Come on, guys. I'm losing. I'm going to take two answers. <laughs> I'm taking the Black Sea and I'm taking the Dead Sea. Both of them. Let's see how I do. The Baltic Sea. That was a card on Monopoly. I should have known, guys. I should have known. Baltic. Or did he say Balkan? Let's rewind it and listen. Got to listen again. The Baltic Sea. All right, where are we now? 11 minutes. I think that's enough of the torture, guys. <laughs> but I love this game. It's called, uh, let's see, Jeopardy for old people who really don't know so much. And it's kind of enjoyable because you get to guess. You don't have to rush. You can really think it out. But it's better played if you know something. So all you do is record it. All right, you pause it on the question so you can read it well. Make sure have your glasses on. Glasses are important. And then we guess. I did get one right. <laughs> I did get one right. That Watson one is still bothering me though. Yeah, that Watson one. Anyway, guys, <sighs> hope you're having a nice weekend. This is Noel Michaels signing off and have a great day. Take care, guys.